So let's check this out. I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I washed my hands. Picked out these two large spoons. My favorite brand of flaxseed oil. Daisy Cottage Cheese. Yeah, it's the kind made from cows. So if you have a problem with milk protein, this is probably not your best option. While I don't drink milk, I do make an exception for this because it's got sulfur in it. We want to mix these two together and make sulfur. There's an alternative to this, regular original vanilla. It's a probiotic supplement, but as I understand, if you get this in the cashew type, it's high in sulfur. So you can substitute this with the cashew version of yogurt. All right. I like to use the silk, this almond milk, to help to um, liquefy this even more because I'm going to be adding a protein shake a vegan mix to it so that I can uh, introduce some of the protein to it that this doesn't have. But we start with this guy right here. You all have seen him. It's kind of like an immersion blender, only it's all together in one thing. And then we flip it over and put it on here. It mixes up. So I just want to show you all just regular vanilla yogurt. Regular Daisy Cottage Cheese. So if you can't have milk, but you can have cashew, you'd be using a cashew yogurt for this. If you are in Europe, you might simply use a quark cheese. It's high in sulfur. It's going to be a little bit messy, but you can see stuff gets stuck. Basically, we want to mix two full tablespoons. You can get it out. And then we want one tablespoon of the flax oil. We like the omegas that it has. Hopefully you can see that. There's one. You can use more, but if you go up another half a tablespoon, you should go up one more of these. You go up two tablespoons in flax oil, and you would go up two more of these. But for a daily, I don't for a daily eat. I don't need that much flax oil. I do eat it every day, so it's kind of part of my diet, part of my existence. So what's happening here? The sulfur and the oil from the flax begin to emulsify in here. And it takes on a more water-based like um, consistency. I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so to this, of this to the, just to make it a little bit more viscous. And I'm going to go ahead and land the cover, which of course has the blender. And So more often than not, I have to separate it, give it a little shake, just to make sure that we've got everything introduced to the little blender. We hit it again. The whole blending process takes about a minute to a minute and a half. It's not that long. And what you end up with is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this, but it doesn't any longer look like oil. Hopefully you can see that inside there. It's been mixed. There's no more yellow or orange or tan or gold, whatever tone you want to describe it as. So it's mixed thoroughly. As such, we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to take this stuff out of the picture. This is my choice of protein blend. Twenty grams for a scoop, so I don't use a whole scoop because I don't need twenty grams of protein. I get protein from other sources. Okay. And last but not least, I'm just gonna be wiping that away. I'm just gonna put a little bit of yogurt in, 
I really like the taste of this. It has some beneficial bacteria to it if it makes it past the pasteurization process. Yum. And I put just a little bit more almond milk. I'm not sure if that's enough. I really didn't have but about an ounce or so. I'm going to add a little bit more. And what's going to happen here is as soon as I finish mixing this up, my cat's going to show up. Because my cat really likes this. And I'm big into mycology, so I'm going to add one more thing. This is a Neotropics Depot product. Lion's Mane. 8 to 1 mushroom extract. I'm going to use a small amount of this. I don't recommend someone who isn't already accustomed to consuming mycology. I don't recommend that y'all add this without first being absolutely sure that it works with you. This is another product. It's a um, Flora Balance Powder, which is uh, it's actually a Bacillus BOD strain. It's a small spore orange which is a little egg sac, and the bacteria exists inside that. And as you can see, it kind of looks like little tiny, 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 tiny white eggs. And that helps to protect the bacillus while it's in transit through the acidic portion of your aliment, the digestive process. So I'm just going to land an eighth of a teaspoon of that in there. Tap that up tightly. It's going in another direction, so we send it that way. And we're going to go ahead and cap this again and blend it and then I'll wait for the cat and the dog to show up. Sometimes it doesn't mix up that well. I'm going to give it a little shake. See it sort of on the sides of the container. A little bit down there. Not so bad. about it. So from here, cat gets a little main coon. And my GSD gets a little. It's really, really good. Delicious. And there's the cat loving on it. Live, love, laugh.